Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll explain how curves work in the graph editor and show you how to make your speed ramp smoother in After Effects. Let's get started. I already have time remapping enabled, with the beginning and ending keyframes set, so now I'm ready to create a smooth speed ramp. Let's open the graph editor, right click inside it and make sure edit value graph is selected. Let's quickly create a simple speed ramp, the kind we see all the time, where the video speeds up, slows down, then speeds up again. To achieve that, all we need to do is shape the curve like this in the graph editor. Looks so smooth. That's because I found the right balance between smoothness and intensity in the video speed. Let me explain what I mean. If I shorten the ending handle like this, along with the beginning, the ramp becomes too slow, and the result feels off or unnatural. Now if I make the handles longer, the speed ramp becomes too harsh, and you'll notice a heavy stop in the middle, which in most cases doesn't look great. But keep in mind, this also depends on the music and the type of edit you're going for. And that's what I mean by finding the balance between smoothness and intensity. By shaping the curve like this, you get a clean and natural speed ramp. I think you've now got a solid understanding of the basic speed ramp curve, so let's take it a step further. Now we'll create a reverse speed ramp, which will help me explain the curve in even more detail. To create a reverse speed ramp, we'll need a third keyframe positioned in the middle of the clip. You can add this keyframe by clicking directly on the timeline at the desired spot, which will automatically create one. Alternatively here's another method of adding a new keyframe. Select the pen tool and click on the curve in the graph editor to add a new keyframe precisely where you want it. Once the middle keyframe is in place, you can create the reverse ramp by dragging the keyframe upward like this. Then drag the last keyframe downward to complete the speed ramp in reverse. Now let's quickly adjust the curve to achieve the smoothest speed ramp. I'll make random curve adjustments first, then explain how each change affects the animation. So this curve is pretty fine if it fits the music right, but it's not too smooth. To make the motion smoother at both the beginning and the end, I'll drag the vertical handles all the way down like this. I'll also fine-tune the horizontal handles slightly to get a more natural speed transition. Dragging the vertical handles up or down controls the speed of the video. Dragging the horizontal handles left or right adjusts how quickly or gradually the speed changes. The longer the handle, the more gradual and smoother the transition. But again, it's all about finding the right balance between fast and slow motion to make your video flow naturally and sync perfectly with the music. The curve I've created here is one of the smoothest you can make, let me show you a quick preview. But again, it all depends on the music and the overall flow of your edit. Always aim to find the right balance between smoothness and intensity, whether you're going for fast or slow speed ramps. I hope I explained everything clearly. The key now is to practice in the graph editor. That's the best way to truly understand how the value graph works. It might feel tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be adjusting curves in seconds.